In this session, we shall discuss T flip flop that is trigger or toggle flip flop. T flip flop is not a new flip flop. It is the JK flip flop where J and K terminals are shorted. So here is the respective circuit diagram and the logic diagram for us. So here you can find that J and K, these two terminals are shorted and it has been labeled as T. And this particular flip flop, when this T will have the value 0, that means we are providing J and K is equal to 0. So we know that in case of J and K, if we have 0, 0, then the output will be QT. So when in case of T also, if we provide 0, then output will not get changed. If we provide 1 to T, we know that it means that G and K, they are getting 1, 1 as input. We know that in the previous videos, we have discussed what is the logic of JK flip flop. There we found that if we provide 1, 1 to JK flip flop, the output will get complemented. So here also, if we provide 1 to T, the output will get complemented. So that is the basic logic of this T flip flop. So now let us go for further explanation. So this is the truth table of T flip flop. So if the present input is 0, previous output is 0, next output will be 0. If the present input is 0, previous output is 1, the next output will be 1. In this way, we can read this respective truth table. So let us test one of the combinations. So I'm going to test this one. I'm going to test this one. That means 1 is the present input, 1 is the previous output, the next output will be 0 in that case. So let us go for this. So I'm going for this one. So here t is equal to 1. So here also, here also I am getting 1 and qt is equal to 1 here. So I am getting 0 here. So qt is equal to 1 means I put 1 there. So q bar will be 0 in that case. So this 1 is coming here and this 0 is coming down here. When the clock pulse is high, here is getting high, here is getting high. So 1 and 1 is 1. So 1, 1, 0 means output will be 0 in case of AND gate. So now I am getting 1 as input to the NOR gate there. So whenever one NOR gate is getting 1 as one of the inputs, then output will be always 0. So its output will be 0 in that case. This 0 is coming down. So 0 or 0 is equal to 0, not of that I am getting 1 here. So Q bar is getting 1. So here this Q is getting 0 and that has been proved. Now let us go for the characteristic equation of T flip flop. So here we are having 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So four combinations are there. So I should plot in this way 0, 1. So 0, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 0. So now I shall cover it. So I am going for this T Q bar T plus T bar Q T. So that is the characteristic equation of T flip flop. So now let us go for the characteristic table of T flip flop. So if we provide 0, then output is getting no change. Previous output is the and previous output is the current output. So I am writing this one as QT. So when input is 1, then I am getting complement of the previous output. Now I am going for this excitation table. Excitation table. So from 0 to 0 transition, I require to give 0 there. Next one is 0 to 1. So 0 to 1 transition, I need to give 1 there. For 1 to 0, 1. And for 1 to 1, 0. So that is the respective excitation table for this T flip flop. You can find here the logic is actually ZOR logic. So it is nothing but T ZOR QT. And also you are getting this ZOR type of truth table here for the excitation table of T flip flop. And there is a block diagram. So here we are having this only single input T. This is my CP. This is Q and Q bar. There is a block diagram of T flip flop. So in this session, we have discussed how to deal with this T flip flop and what is the characteristic equation, truth table, logic diagram, block diagram, characteristic table and excitation table of T flip flop. Thanks for watching this.